Hey guys, so this tutorial will be quite an easy one. We're going to give difficult stuff a little break and we're just going to set up stamina cost for our attacks and also for dodging. And just a side note, I was getting tired of looking at my club, so I made my own 200 greatsword. Check this out. So I called it Blade of Sorrow and it has fire damage, a little bit lower attack speed, but high blocking power multiplier. And I think it looks awesome, I'm pretty proud of it. And it's going to be good for testing on this tutorial because we're going to base the stamina cost of attacks on the weapon weight. So let me kill this guy in four hits and then let's move on. So first thing that we need to do is we need to set up function that will calculate the cost. So in functions in player BP, let's add new one and this will be calculate stamina cost. And as I said, I want to base it on the weapons that we have equipped. So on the weight. So what we need to do is there is a variable with equipped items, which is attached equipment info. We're going to get it and get the keys. Sorry, not the keys, but the values from the map array. And then probably the best thing is just to do for loop, just regular for loop. And this will be zero to one because that's a main hunt and off hunt. And we're going to, from here, we're going to get a copy on this index. And then we'll break it open and we only need weight, which we will promote to variable. It can be local variable and this will be uh, what we can call it local stamina cost. Local stamina cost. And then first we need to get it. Then we're going to add to it and we will add this weight and then we will set it. So it will calculate the both weapons together. And also, just to make sure, it shouldn't happen because it's a local stamina cost, but it's better if we set it to zero in the beginning. And here we can just hide unconnected pins, so it's not as messy. And this is all we need here in the for loop. And then on completed, we can return node And then this local stamina cost is what we will be returning. But I'm just thinking if we should divide it by two or maybe multiply it. So my weapon weight on the new weapon, for example, is 10. So it should cost me 10 stamina per attack, which might be good to begin with. But on my player, how much stamina do I have? Go to stats components, stamina 100, that's 10 attacks, that's fine. I'm going to leave it as it is, if you want you can multiply it or divide it, but then don't forget to also round it. I'm going to set it up here as well, just so you don't have any decimal values. And I'm also going to print string so we can see how much stamina it costs. And this will be the value. And then this will be the value that we will return. And this can be just stamina cost. Compile and save. And now in the event graph where we have attacks. So on the left mouse button. Again, we probably need more space. So it's not squished. I'm going to move this. And then here, first we're going to check not inside can execute action because we're not uh, using this one or we are using this one on the right mouse button as well. So we don't want to be checking if we got enough stamina here. But we're going to do end boolean. And then we're going to get stats component, get current stat. And that will be stamina. 
and let's say it needs to be greater I'm going to set it to like 5 so if we have less than 5 stamina we won't be able to attack we will have to block or something else and then we can also pack this to macro so select these three right click collapse to macro and have enough stamina will be the name and here we can also set this like the minimum stamina cost that we want for attacks to be editable so just drag it into input and this will be minimum stamina and I will return true so minimum stamina here again I'm going to set it to 5 so if we have 5 stamina we can attack and then before the montage we can drain the stamina so we will get this calculate stamina cost we're going to make it pure function so check pure and after we have calculated it we're going to get stats component we have it here we're going to modify current stat and this actually needs to be minus or we can do minus here but it's better if you do it in the function because we need to remove the stamina from player so this round just multiply by minus one and then connect it right and then stamina cost we will modify the value so it will remove that stamina cost and then we will attack so here don't forget to change it to stamina as well compile and save so that's set up for attacks let's test it out so i'm going to get my new sword and as you can see the weight on this one is 10 so if it's one to one it should be draining 10 stamina so i'm attacking and you can see the print string is showing 10 and my stamina is going down so i can attack a few times There is actually quite a lot of attacks to begin with. Maybe we should even multiply it. And then when I run out of stamina, I can't attack anymore. Only when the stamina regenerates above 5, which is going quite fast. But then if you run out of stamina, you need to start blocking or just running away or something. But there is still block and the stamina can regenerate in that time, which is fine. So now we have stamina on attacks and let's set up stamina for dodging as well. So we do have this. Where did we set up dodge in jump dodging, jumping dodging this one here. And here is a little bit different because I don't want to have a stamina cost for jumping. So we can't add it here after can execute action, but we can just do another branch for dodge. If you want to have a stamina for jumping as well when you're not in combat, so when you don't have weapon equipped, you can just add it here, can uh, check if it has enough stamina. I'm going to add one more branch. And here we're going to connect have enough stamina. And let's say I want my dodging to be something like 20 stamina. So quite a lot, so I won't be able to just roll around all the time. So minimum stamina will be 10. So if we have 10 stamina, we can execute dodge for 20 stamina, which will give us 0 stamina. But then normally it will cost 20. So minimum is 10. And then before we dodge, we're going to... Or let's do it after set action tag. <coughs> and this will be uh, just from stats component and modify current stat and this will be stamina and value will be minus 20 so we need to set it directly here but what we can also do is promote this to a variable and this will be dodging stamina cost 
because then later when we have some perks or skill points we can also edit this variable so it can be something different you know we can reduce dodging cost by 10 percent if you have like a rogue class or something so that will make quite a lot of sense so here default is going to be minus 20 uh, what you don't like ah, dodging stamina cost that's already a variable so this one needs to be update quick slot count dodging stamina cost uh, this happened to me before that like random variable gets renamed renamed I'm not sure why it is happening but obviously this was meant to be just a value I don't know there is some weird thing maybe I'm doing something wrong but if it happened to you as well just get the value but I remember this happening in one of the videos as well so dodging stamina cost minus 20 and now if I equip weapon I'm going to dodge for 20 stamina dodge 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 and now I can't dodge anymore I'm pressing it until I have at least 10 stamina and then I can attack either only after it starts regenerating but then if I rolled dodge rolled and now I can start blocking and stamina regenerates and I'm ready to go again so now we set up pretty good resource management so it's not just a hack and slash combat you know you do have some tactic to it you need to manage your resources but then uh, we will probably move to a bit more difficult stuff probably start doing the effects like burning or poison that you can apply on hit or some different effects or we will even go into abilities there is just a few things i need to finish before that so i'll see you in the next video